Hi, it's me, Bam, and I'm just going to tell you guys right now that this video will be split into different time codes. Link will, I mean, in the description, there will be the different time codes because this video might actually end up being longer than normal because <clears throat> I'm going to be going through her abilities, her tier. I'm going to be going through her tier's abilities, telling you guys what I think, and then we are going to do a mission with her tier. I don't have a final light build for her tier yet, so that is a work in progress. But without further ado, let's look at her abilities. Okay. So her first ability, Grenade Fan. Now this has two modes. Um, if you tap it, Shrapnel Vortex. Creates a slashing, slag, um, staggering swirl of shotgun. Basically, it just creates, um, it just basically does grenades in an arc. That slash and, um, you know, apply stagger to the enemy slash damage and stagger okay now if you hold this ability on release it will apply over shields to you and your ally so that's pretty cool second ability is blaze artillery Basically gives the a twin. So you can deploy up to as far as I know three of them. Three twins that just attack and whatnot. We'll get to see them in action in mission, so don't worry about that. Third ability will be dispensary. The system continues. Whereas in dispensary what happens is that uh, Drops health and energy and whatnot. And then finally, we have temporal, temporal Anchor, which is her rewind ability. We'll go through that as well. And she does have a passive, which is every fourth power cast grants plus 100% power strength. So that's what you have for her now. We are going to look at her. This is my build in progress for her. But before that, I want to go over real quick her sort of thing. Okay, so she has a V polarity, a D polarity, and a, what is this, minus polarity, um, hyphen polarity, whatever you want to call it. And in case you're wondering why she only had three polarities instead of possibly four. Um, and I don't know if you guys can hear noise outside or not, but as of record, I recorded this video on 4th of July weekend. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, this is the universal polarity right here. Universal meaning I can put this or I can put this. Say I need some extra power, I, I mean capacity, I can put that there. You know, say I'm like, eh, I need cursive projection instead. You know, just I can go with that, but you know, when I go with my build in progress, work in progress build right now and what we are going to do is we are going to actually go into a mission i'm going to clip the video here and then we will be back once we are in a mission okay and we are back i'm in a survival mission now, the thing about this 
mission is I'm in it for two reasons. One, because it is a Kuba mission. So we get to see her being strong with the Kuba mission. And two, because I have a Nightwave thing to do. Okay, so let's do the shrapnel blast, as you can see. Shrapnel everywhere, hitting the enemy. That was a tapping the shrapnel button. But let's hold it instead and see what happens. Okay. We got shield and we are getting over shield. Again, just tapping it will damage the enemy. Now it does go within a certain radius, so definitely be careful about that. But we do still have our overchill dudes working, so that's always cool. Now her second ability is probably my favorite right now. You just put torrents up and then whatever the torrents damage, you know, every time the torrents shoot something, they get powered up a bonus right then and there. So that's actually very cool there. Now Let's go to her third ability, which is Dispensary. So basically, she dispenses health, she dispenses energy, you know, just that flower thing. It dispenses, and it dispenses ammo, just need technically, but right now, it's only arc, arc gun ammo. For whatever reason, I don't know. Don't ask me why. Oh, and this. Um, if you look at the left hand, towards the bottom, right hand corner rather, you'll see that that's something that says 100% ability strength. That's her passive. Remember, every fourth ability cast will have plus a hundred percent um strength on it so that was that mean that if we cast this it has plus okay so in case you're wondering why that doesn't shoot that dude these have a very directional way about them I guess you could say. Oh, and they always shoot fire. Now, let's go with her fourth ability, okay? Because it's pretty interesting. Okay, so let's use up all of our energy as much as we can before the end of the ability. And now, as you see, we get rewinded back to the beginning with our energy fully intact. Now we got rewinded because it ended, but technically, you know, say we say we get trapped down in here or whatever, we can actually end it ourselves, and that would just take us back to where we first activated it. And Laddie, it's all with the energy. It saves the energy state you were in initially. So let's, in case you didn't fully see the energy, let's get, well, let's do this first, then, you know, get some overshoot as we do. And then we are almost at full energy. Now, I will say that this also that the opposite too. So like if you gain a bunch of energy while this is activated, once it ends, you will lose all that extra energy again. Okay? But see, I got reround back to the energy I had when I first cast this. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind. You will lose the energy you gain while in that. Yeah, so it's one of those things. It's actually, 
you can, oh, and also, I guess I should also mention that this is a kind of a cheat death thing as well. Because if you happen to die while it's active, it would just unactivate and bring you back to life because you were in the living state before, you know, when you activated it. <clears throat> so it's kind of a cheat death thing against higher level enemies, which is always a good thing. So yeah, actually it's a very fun frame to use. She is a very fun frame. I definitely recommend, you know, checking her out. Definitely stay tuned for the build. Now I'm going to finish the rest of this mission with her. So um, if you guys want, you guys can stay tuned to the rest of this mission, but if you guys don't want to stay tuned, I will catch you guys in a future video. Thank you for stopping by. Later everyone that chooses to leave, later. And now for all of you guys who decided to stick around, um, I'm just going to be talking about random stuff I guess while doing this and you guys can see sort of how I like using her. Okay, so there's a common mi misconception of sorts here. Okay, first of all, she's a lot more fun and like mobs of enemies. So basically she's like the most fun when you're solo, if I'm being perfectly honest. But she's not bad regularly, as you can see. She's okay against high level enemies it takes them a few hits but they do it they do it just fine um but the common misconception is that you know she can only have three turns at once now make sure you don't do this this is something i used to do when i first got her i used to spam turns but, you know, you can only have three out as soon as you spawn another one, you know, another one instantly goes away. But, with that said, you could keep on spawning them and it will keep up using energy. It just won't tell you. And see, five times, I can actually get higher which I'm working on a build that does just that. Um, definitely stay tuned to the channel. You know, feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Um, click that bell icon so you'll be notified when I do publish a video. Oh, and I do also want to mention about my other YouTube channel. My other YouTube channel is Bank Plays. I do other content that is non Wolfram related content. And yeah, I actually, I know you guys are just hearing me rambling, advertising my channel, but you know, this Nightwave mission is actually fairly important as well. Oh, speaking of Nightwave, I do actually also um, do Nightwave weekly, you know, what the weekly acts are. And the weekly act I'm trying to finish right now is this one. That's the biggest reason we're in the Kuba survival. So there is 15 more minutes. I'll be honest, if you guys do not want to stay, I will fully understand. It looks like that random one to leave. We might get our wish per se and be here solo. And if we are here solo, then we're here solo, right? Okay, let's see. Kuba, ready to be collected.
I don't know why I just said it like that. I just kind of did. Okay, and that you can see I'm really not in much danger yet. I will give myself overshield though, just in case. And I guess so. Do this. But yeah, I'm not really in much danger. Solo extract is a thing, so you know, they solo extract it. But yeah, I don't think I'm really in any danger at all. Honestly, this is a fun frame. I mean, very fun. I have a lot of fun with her. Okay, I am about out of energy, which is my own fault, honestly. Okay, you really get to see those grenade things in action right now. Yeah. And if those aren't going fast enough for you, you can always do that. He technically the most optimal way to use her if you want the exact bang for your buck would be to you know put a dispensary yeah. now you can only have one dispensary at a time so you know it is what it is it's not bad though it's not terrible the only reason i got all my energy back is because i am still leveling her up so i definitely want you guys to keep that in mind and i just almost died with her because i actually wasn't paying attention yeah i actually was not paying attention but yeah if i ever am about to die i probably cast my um wolf ability and that you can see there is a lot going on right now yeah there is a lot going on there. And then keep that overshield going up then we have this as a bonus yeah, and this is her entirely in action. Now, did I wish the toys could follow you everywhere? Yes, but them being recastable isn't the worst thing in the world. And aren't you guys glad that I did put the time codes? So you could check out the earlier. I'm trying to put time codes whenever I can. So definitely let me know if you guys enjoy me putting the time codes. Yeah. Wait, is he running away? Oh yeah, I have regular weapon. Okay, that's okay see just like a true caster frame sometimes when you play at her and i kid you not you forget that you have a weapon well because she she has weapons she had twins and whatnot i mean that's just like super our weapons right there and you know i gotta get that if any of you guys have seen me stream then you know that i'm all about getting those honeycomb i call it the convergence honeycomb and yeah apparently this map spawns um Manics or maniacs as I call them. So if you're looking for normal ash, you can definitely try this map. 
and it should work out pretty well for you. Now, I'm staying for the night wave, but it's very common for people to leave at 20. So we'll see if they do leave at 20. And if they do, we'll really have to pick up the everything. Okay, let's go ahead to use this dispensary ability. See, we can't have multiple because one would just go away as soon as the other one comes. So it's not like um, it's not like Wisp where you can have up to six at once. I wish you could have two, but you know, maybe DE might think it a little too OP to be able to have two. I don't know. But let me show you, oh, I, I didn't expect that to appear there. Okay. Now see, the trick is that normally would go out there, but if you cast it on the ground, you know, you don't get run into it. If you point at the ground and cast it. So see, it sort of tried to cast it wherever your reticle is. That's, yeah. That's how that is there. And as you see, they're not doing too, too much damage to me right now. So, you know, I'm going to put that there. Going to, of course, put this here. And then put this here and finally put this here and while I'm doing that I'll put my glove here but yeah I'll show you what I'm talking about with the arc gun so we do this and then we reload the arc gun and that's the dispensary ammo the dispensary ammo is literally just for the arc gun. So if you're into arc gun, you can basically keep the arc gun out forever. You know, yeah, you can basically keep the arc gun up forever. Now I do, I if I do, I'll link up the video to the arc gun. I think I have a video to the dark gun. If I don't, I expect a video for the dark gun in the future. So feel free to subscribe for that. And yeah, I should probably, uh, okay. I should probably go near the life support, wherever it is. I always get lost at this on this map if I'm being honest. I mean I get lost on most maps if I'm being honest. Yeah, I know. I've been playing this game for over four years and I still get super lost. Commencing Kuba I don't even know. Have to get out of there. Okay, so see I call this so yeah, as you see, I'm running pretty low on ammo. So what I simply do is just do a dispensary thing. I only did that because I thought I was gonna die. So yeah. Okay, I actually done goofed. There, in case you guys are wondering what happened, I messed up. And how I messed up is simply because of the fact that I forgot I had activated that, so it would just rewind everything to the beginning ash type of whatnot. Okay. Okay, so I'm actually very bad at this because I need to 
find where okay now I'm going the right way okay cool 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 okay this is good this is good this is good here we are okay as you can see he just kind of ignored us but yeah okay okay talk about your videos going on longer than normal am i right but yeah i'm i'm okay with this mostly because i did give you guys time codes and like i said i'm gonna try to keep that trend of giving you guys time codes going but yeah we will definitely see what happens with that? Because, you know, I want you guys to be able to jump back and forth where you guys want. So, yeah. And if this video, for some reason, doesn't have any time codes at all, time stamps in the description or anything, it means that I completely forgot. But... Since I'm talking about so much right now, I do not think I will forget at all. But then again, I might. Okay, so it looks like two other people are sticking with me for Nightwave. I mean, I don't know if the reason they're doing it is for Nightwave. There's really no way of knowing unless I ask them. But, but yeah, I know what you're thinking. Bam, now you're using the weapon more than you're using her ability. Well, be, me being able to keep the weapon out all the time, I think is the testament to her ability Hello. altogether. So, yeah. And she said, the dispensary to pop out another. Like I said, right now, it's Uck Gun Ammo. I don't know if that's a mistake or not. I don't know if that's an error or if DE intended it that way. Now, I haven't heard anything about there being a quote fix. So I think it's as intended. Um, but I'm telling you guys this right now for, you know, just in case in the future when you guys are watching this, it's not actually arc gun ammo anymore. But yeah, it looks like at least right now anyway, that this is intentional. Like I said, we will give ourselves over shield. Yeah. Okay. Or I think I activate dispensary. Why we do that? We are also going to activate that. You're going to give ourselves more over shield. We are also going to give ourselves some torrent power as well. Because, you know, and like I said, don't get attached to these torrents. Because, you know, they go away pretty quickly, honestly. Even, they don't have like the most range in the world. But yeah. They are actually real good. They shoot fast. Yeah. As you can see, they are good. And they do do fire. There's no way to change the element. I really wish there was, but they, there isn't. Oh, and it counts as power ability in case you were wondering. So yeah, if you use them, it does count as power ability. I know that's kind of like goes without saying, but yeah. 
Oh, I, I ran that to Bama. I mean, I ran that to hell. Energy. I got it right at that time. See, but that's, I'm supposed to be using dispensary more often for that exact reason. But the fact is that I use Zenaruk right now as my, you know, at my whole class thing. So, you know, for my operator, cool. Yeah, that's what it's called, cool. So, you know, that really doesn't affect me too, too much. Gotta get these off of me. I've delivered another life support capsule. Okay, got most of them off of me. Eh, it's fine. Okay. So now, what we are going to do is, I guess, start heading to extraction. It's almost been 30 minutes, right? Is extraction this way? I feel like extraction is this way, maybe? Okay, um... Extraction is this way, probably. Okay. Oh, extraction is this way. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so as you can see, this is her inaction. So like. And she definitely can survive against level 60 plus enemy. It is one of those things. Like I said, aim at the ground if you want to do the, you know, not have to like run into them type of thing. I wish they would just make it so you could, like when you long press, they automatically just spawn around you, but, and the your allies, but, I mean, what are you gonna do, right? Yeah. See, technically, the gun had another ability. And there we go. Survived the Nightwave thing. I'm actually going to end the video here. I know this has gone on way longer than any of you probably signed up for. So, yeah. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the future. Let me know what you think of Botia comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the future. Later.